Hello, long time no see YouTube. Um, I figured I'd uh, make a little update video uh, since quite a bit has changed. As you can see since the last video, um, I am currently in the process of powder coating, quite literally currently in the process of powder coating um, everything. I'll be building a small oven to do the powder coating of the frame. So once I get more welding gas, that is, I'll be building that oven. Um, so once I do that, I can get the frame powder coated and get it put together. But the big, uh, been quite a few large changes. First, I decided to go with and get some of the dust off there. A carbon, quite a nice carbon if you ask me, um, battery box. Uh, it's got kind of like a, kind of an interesting, almost like plaid pattern or checkers or squares. I don't know, I like it. Um, we got, uh, oh, that's the old radiator. Or not radiator, fender. Got carbon fender, support pole, carbon, um, carbon front fender. I think that's it. There's not not a whole lot of body panels on this thing. Um, as you can see, everything is quite literally in pieces. Um, and then the second major change. This one is a bit more major. Is this is the old engine this is a 180 cc two-stroke out of a Galera or Jalera runner or Italja dragster uh, 125 and 180 cc this is a 180 cc engine um, <clears throat> it has an aftermarket Molosi uh, cylinder and I think it's got an HT motor and uh, Heiko tuning uh, head on it. And then the <clears throat> RD350 intake. So it uses a RD350 Yamaha um, reed valve. <clears throat> and it was, it was a pretty good engine. I mean, I never actually got to the top speed on my Ruckus, but it was... I got her up into the 90s and she was still pulling, so I'm sure it could do 100 or thereabouts. But we now have, and there's part of it, a billet engine. So as you can see, and it's quite dirty right now, I apologize for that, as is my entire garage. Um, this is all billet aluminum. CNC machined out of a, you know, multiple chunks, and then uh, all bolts together. Um, this is actually the center section comes out, and I have an additional one, so this will be for a future project, um, potentially larger. But currently, it's at uh, 200 cc's. So it is a 68 millimeter bore and it's got a three mil longer stroke. So it's a 55 mil stroke. So it's a significant overbore. Um, ideally for, for, you know, power, I'd like almost a little bit more stroke, to be honest, if I could get like 62 mil bore and 64 mil stroke i think that would be ideal because then you have much more time for um, your ports to do their thing uh, whereas with this engine the bore is much bigger but i don't have any additional space this way to get the air into the cylinder i guess is kind of my point and then you can see the big advantage with this cylinder is it's, uh, it's a bridge port in there. So you can see the exhaust bridge. That um, 
that allows you to get a significantly larger exhaust port without the rings falling into the exhaust port and breaking. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, it quite literally is just a mess. Um, I am getting everything powder coated though. It's coming along. Uh, we've got a piece of the seat frame going there. Here are some of the pieces, so I'm kind of trying to do a, I wanted the look of copper, but it's not, it's not quite copper, but it's good enough. I tried like three or four different ones and this was the best one and I just, at that point, I was so irritated, I just said it's good enough. Um, so that's going to kind of be the accent color. And then this will be the main. And this actually, it needs a coat of clear coat on it to uh, look correct. So it, it might, it'll look a little different once it gets clear coated. Um, it should look better, supposedly. Uh, I think it looks pretty decent right now. Um, I was going for a really dark green with something extra so this is called black green illusion by allpowderpaints.com um, I really like it it's got a ton of flake I mean it just it's like pure pure green flake in there and I, I kind of different different colors of greens in there and I don't know, I really like it. As you can tell, I'm kind of nerding out on the color right now, but there's some of the seat frame. <clears throat> there's some of the other pieces of the seat frame, so that hopefully should look decent together. Uh, you can see the new exhaust up there and the old exhaust. As you can see, a fairly significant difference um, side by side hopefully that that carries into power <laughs> um, yeah other than that <clears throat> I am in the process of building a much larger gas tank um, it's kind of looking rough right now but so this will be hopefully two and a half gallons um, the stock tank is not very big, especially when you put a big, big thirsty two-stroke to it. Um, it is only one gallon, so you can see just even side by side. This one's already almost got more volume, so and it's going to kind of go sloped, I guess sloped down from here up to here and then I kind of I plan to have it wrap around the neck and actually bolt into the neck um, which is why I made it out of quarter inch aluminum um, and not honestly you could probably do 1 16th inch aluminum and it'd be just fine probably even thinner than that uh, but I wanted a little extra support and I figured you know, if I make the gas tank extremely rigid and then bolt it to the to the uh, cast section of the frame here, which is what I'm most concerned with as far as structural stability, um, that might give me some extra, maybe a little extra support. I don't know. We'll find out. But we do have the bar here, which runs from the top of this frame down and then connects to that bar on that frame so that does give us quite a bit more um, support but figure more is probably better considering we're going from 3 to about 40 horsepower here so things could get hairy but <clears throat> regardless riding it uh, with the 180 cc engine which is pretty mild compared to this new engine here. Um, it was totally manageable. 
Uh, and honestly, it was it was perfectly content to just cruise along at 60, 65 miles an hour at not even quarter throttle, and you're just cruising along. And, it, and you know, it was great. That's really why why I wanted this engine in particular, um, just because it can it can do 50 miles an hour and not be screaming its head off like the engine on the old scooter was. So, yeah, just thought I'd check in, post a little update since it's been a while. Um, still probably be a few weeks, maybe a month till I get this together, but it's coming along. I still got to get the, the wheels stripped to get them powder coated, which I'm not enthused about. Which, by the way, I'm in the United States, Minnesota here, and our EPA banned, the Environmental Protect Protection Agency banned some chemical in paint stripper. And in a, of course, it's the chemical that makes it work. Um, so now our paint stripper is is paint softener. Um, so you still have you basically have to sand everything, and it's awful. And on that depressing note, read here. Signing out.